Oh, and they had power. Out of all the power corners, I would lose on the straightaway, lose up the... 144? And once I made a mistake, one time I blew the bus stop and I had to like, I lost like a second on them. And I made that second up in the same lap. Like I completely lost them and maybe that's when I did the 44. When I was watching it, I was just like, you know, I was expecting you to be in third again coming around and I got, yeah, anyways. Wow. wow. That's record books. Congratulations. That rear tire finally worked for the whole race this time. Yeah, and I no... would gain on with six every time. Everywhere else, yeah, the power. The power was an issue and the wheelies. I can't stop my wheelies. And so power, I don't have enough power and I can't stop the wheelies. The wheelbase is too short. Well, they said the wheelies were from sometimes that tire, right? Like, no, 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 it's just, no? I, it's not, that's, no, that's just, the, that's actually... I just can't. The wheelbase, I need to lower the bike longer wheelbase, these things I can't do quite yet, right? Okay. It's not the right bike. Any wings on the bike? Wow. Wow. Well, wow. <laughs> like, you should have seen the last lap. Like, I was looking everywhere to pass. So my, my carrot is Andy Debrino and Pink Staff. In fact, I want to get in front of those carrots and follow um, Adam and the kid and then hold them behind me and try to keep the other two, Debrino and Pink Staff behind me, who I've raced AMA with a long time ago and they, we were always in the same boat. And sometimes I would do better and I've been ahead of Debrino before and, uh, and he's been racing this whole time doing the national tour. So if I can do Debrino's times, I mean, this guy's been practicing non-stop, full tours, full, yeah, like he has that full ride, you know, paid for it, looks like anyways. So anyways, guys, we're going out for Formula Ultra. There he goes. Anyway, so like, like at six laps, I'm like, I wish the race had, you know, like at the halfway flag, I was like, even at the halfway flag, I'm already done. So then Pink Staff was my rabbit in front of me for all that. And I, I wanted to get him and then he, I made a little mistake in the lap three or four and he pulled just a sliding gap. I, I hit the curb on the inside a little too much, like, cause it's like, so I, and then he had this much gap and obviously he pulls away a little bit on the straightaway. The race fuel stinks too. There should be a ban on race fuel. Save everybody $300 a weekend and I don't have to smell their fucking race fuel. Beep. Um, anyways, awesome race. Holy crap, the front footage, like Adam and, and these guys, uh, 
remember that kid's name. Oh, I think it's Roth. It's like I think Rothschild. <laughs> <laughs> Rothenberger or whatever is it. He and Adam and um, we're just Debrino. We're just all in this mix with Pink Staff and. You know, there's the two fastest guys, Adam and the Rothschild, right? We, I don't remember his name right now. It's a hard one. And he's just a kid. It goes really fast, you know. And um, they're doing 45s and qualifying. So I just did a 45-7, a 46, 46, 46-1, 46, 46 0, 45 9 You did a 46-0? And 45.9 you and 45.7 and then so then that's the first six laps, okay? So now I'm running out of energy. Then lap seven was a 46.5, 46.9, 47.0, 47.2, 47.9, 47.4. It's funny because I actually went faster oh every God. single lap with the tire did not work after the first five laps. It's, it was doing the same thing, you know, like drifting. Mm. I, I was able to hold the turn six decent, but the rest of the track, I just couldn't get my power out of the corner, right? I mean, you know, I don't really have trash control at all. It's like turned off, you know, uh, pretty much. So it's just all through. So obviously, I could be wearing the tire faster. You're at 45. Yeah, I know. Uh, personal you didn't best. even think you're 40. I did a 47.00 in Super Bowl. And so I, I went a second, of, you know, what did I do again? A 47, uh, 46.7, 47.7, and 7. So 1.3 seconds faster than I've ever gone before yesterday. No. Always improving. But yeah, those guys, like one guy, you know, when they're on the brakes, one guy's like sideways trying to make the corner on the first lap and then up there as well. And like, oh man, they were so close to hitting each other. And it was wild to watch. It's going to be unbelievable. And um, and like I said, Debrino and Pinkstaff were screwing it up for Adam Robarts, who then kept making these terrible passes. You know, he has to try. He'd pass me and he has no exit. And then, and then he'd blow the next corner and then I would pass him, you know. So he's getting shuffled back when he's one of the top two guys. And then he tried to work his way up, and I don't know who crashed in the end. I, was, I couldn't look very long. And I was pulling, pulling Pink Staff, and he'd pull away mostly in turn um, eight, nine up the hill, and then a little bit on the straightaway. And I'd gain on him every time in six, which is that long left corner. So it was interesting to see the differences. Um, it'll be interesting when we throw in the X the next time for eight laps and see how that does. Um, and we did take the pressures and everything. Where's my little gauge? And uh, and the tires are clean. There's no cold tear at all. So. So how do you feel about the tire you chose? Like. Well, you, I just don't. I think it? it's. I think it's zero. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what we got. We finished like fourth, unless um, it was Adam that crashed in front on the last lap. So we'll have to go see the results. That's it, guys. Wild ride around the ridge. My first race, many, 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 many years. At the ridge. Control to start.
that second? I was there. I almost had first. You did? I uh, he blocked everything. That was, that was nice. That was real nice. So uh, come look at the lap time. Well, what, what position did you get? Go look at the lap. I, oh, I got second. You but did? I was on his ass to the last second. What does it say there? No. A 44 7 1. <gasps> what? How happy must you be right now? I wonder now? what lap that was. Holy. And they had power. Out of all the power corners, I would lose on the straightaway, lose up the. 144? And once I made a mistake, one time I blew the bus stop and had to like, I lost like a second on them. And I made that second up in the same lap. Like I completely lost them. And maybe that's when I did the 44. When I was watching it, I was just like, you know, I was expecting you to be in third again coming around, and I got, yeah, anyways. It was so, like, yeah, the first exciting. lap, uh, the warm up, the first lap was a, it doesn't matter, because yeah. it's from the start. Then I did a 45 5, 45 1, 44 8 was the lap, third lap, or fourth lap of the race. Uh, no, 44 8, and then a 44 7. I did two 44s in a row. <laughs> When I was trying to get back on those guys after yeah. I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. I, did a, I made a mistake and I gained up on them and then a 45-6 on the last lap. Wow. wow. That's record books. Congratulations. That rear tire finally worked for the whole race this time. Yeah, I know. I would gain on them with six every time. Yeah, the power, the power was an issue and the wheelies, I can't stop my wheelies. And so power, I don't have enough power and I can't stop the wheelies. The wheelbase is too well, short. They said the wheelies were from sometimes that tire, right? Like, no, 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 it no, it's just, no? I, it's not, that's no, that's just, the, that's not true. I just can't, the wheelbase, I need to lower the bike, longer wheelbase, they, these things I can't do quite yet, right? Okay. It's not the right bike, any wings on the bike. Wow. Wow. Well, wow. <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't even matter that I didn't win. I was, like, you should have seen the last lap. Like, I was looking everywhere to pass him. Right. You know? Yeah. And I got around to Brino, but then I blew, I blew the chicane, or I blew that corner. And then, you know, it, it, and I still was on his ass. It was nuts. Well, it looked like, yeah, near the end, you were almost, like, if there was another lap. Well, yeah, yeah. One, exactly. That's one of the, like Steve said, one more lap. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's good way, you know, I don't even need to ride tomorrow. I'm satisfied, but. Awesome. You know, I can't believe I did 244s. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's uh, a. That's the a end wrap. of Saturday. It's end of Saturday, whatever it is, 15, 16, 16. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, Canadian. Look at all the people here. There's so many people. Look at the crowds. It's a full day at the track, guys. More back here. We got. I've never seen so many. Look at them all. Look at all the people. Sweet bus, Airstream. <laughs> it's an Airstream bus. We got the data analysis guy. Look at them all, there's more over here. I can't believe how full the paddock is. Look at this paddock. Unbelievable. Look at all the people. Hey, this guy's matching. Look at that matching suit. Must be a professional. I like the mustache though. Yeah. You know, I almost. That's right, the intimidator. <laughs> Put some clothes on, Marcel. Yeah, yeah. All the way at the end here. Getting ready for the race. 
There's the Z-Log pit. There he is. There he is. Man, side by side out of the street. You're amazing. That was tight. <laughs> that was nutty. That's, the footage is going to be so awesome, Big Staff. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Good work. Yeah. I didn't realize you. I thought it was Andy behind me. Yeah, well, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I followed you and Andy the whole time, yeah. and then finally got around Andy, and then it was on. Yeah. Um, what do you know? What your fastest lap was? Forty-four seven. Your personal best. You did forty-four seven yeah. too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, personal I did. Best. I did two in a row. Nice. Because I actually made a mistake. I blew the chicane almost, and then lost you guys for like a whole corner. Okay. And I yeah. sucked you guys up with one or two laps, and then we we're and it was on. And then I got around Debrino, and then it was on. Two in a P two. Yeah, I nice. think so. And I don't even do you. What what was the result? Of F you. Who crashed? Because I didn't even look at the results yet. Adam fell, so it was cold. So still. I got third on that yeah, one. Man, two podiums. So Bam. Not bad after four yeah. years off. Yeah, yeah. Right? Cheers. I'm gonna go find the results. Cheers, guys. Moto Vixen. I haven't seen this girl in forever. Good, good. All right, let's keep her working our way to the garages. All right. There's Sage. Sage just closed the shop. He's ran out of tires. He's gone. He's got nothing. Oh, he ran out of tires. He never got a. Sh I can't believe he's packed up. Oh, he's gone, gone. Look, his machines are gone. This That's is wrong. Fucking. Oh, garage. wrong garage. Okay. Oh my God. Wrong garage. I was like, Sage is gone. He's gone. I knew he didn't have tires, but I didn't think he'd pack up and leave. Look at this. There it is. Let's go, Marcel. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. Man, you got a good We're, start, huh? I did that fucking through the parachute down. Uh, yeah, I, like, ah, yeah thank you for that. that. No, no, no. So, no I, I figured you were letting me by. I thought you were letting me no, by. You know me. I'm a racer like you, but I don't have your pace yet. So yeah, well yeah. done, dude. 44 is fuck yeah. Two in a row. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Man, I almost yeah. blew the chicane, and I had to gain back on him. Shit didn't. But I did it. <laughs> I kept hearing on the radio, everybody blowing the chicane. They keep track of that for I some do reason. keep track of that, yes. What happens if you do blow it? You get a penalty, a third second penalty. Oh, a well, good thing so I made it. No matter what, make the machine. Man, yeah. in the Formula Ultra race, those guys were like pinching like on yeah. their front end. You like Gesser? Gesser comes in on the steering lock of the thing. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I know. Guy. He's a he's a little kid champion. I did. Yeah. There you go, dude. Nice job, Marcel. Cheers. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. The Sage, I went into the other garage and your stuff was gone. And I'm like, oh my God, the guy ran out of tires. He packed up and left. <laughs> but no, you're here. It was the wrong garage. Anyways, 244s in a row, dude. That's badass. That's badass. That tire worked perfect, man. 23 in the rear, 34 in the front. And it just felt... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you saw, man. Pink. I like once I actually got uh, past. I was, the... I was uh, up on the bridge watching the whole race. Oh, so you could see it. I just needed a little more time to work my way around, my magic around like Pinkstaff. Pinkstaff was having trouble with his tire at the end a little bit. I just didn't have the power. They'd pull on the straight and pull on the back. But I would gain on him in the entrance to six. I'd gain on him in the entrance to one and then repeat. But man, it was freaking... I'm ready to retire again until next year we get some free sponsorship from Pirelli USA, right? I don't know. Yeah. We're going to put in the good word. You got to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot, bud. Third in Formula, second in Super Stock 1000. I didn't even show you guys this one side of the paddock. Wait, more south, the west side.
kids are doing. Wearing a little forward, so what you could suggest is it's a little fast. I could have put another rebound on as I added compression, possibly. What was happening in turn six? I was, that's where I'd gain, that was my best corner. I would gain on all those guys with the lean angle, the long, consistent, on the slight throttle, turn six, whoa, lightheaded. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And then the rear, my first race ever with the SCX. Second time trying it, I tried it in the Super Bowl, see the X guys. And um, it's wearing a little back direction. Um, I added compression, I took off rebounds, so I don't know how to fix that, but it, the tire worked well, just a little bit of gnawing. Oh look, it's doing that again on this side. The wah, wah, wah. I, uh, maybe that shock needs servicing, who knows. There's a date on that shock from KMG. The date on it was, I don't know. Well, obviously it was back from the day. Uh, 46, or I don't know. Anyways, that's the old 2016 guys, classic. What do you got, a cocktail machine in there? <laughs> yeah, it's called, uh, it's called Oh, All right. All right, we're celebrating. 44s. So good. Round two. Do you hear I did 44s with shoe with shoe goo? No. And JB Weld holding my boot together. Wow. JB Welded boots. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Danielle, the, the girls of Moto. <laughs> Of course, we gotta get video. All right, guys, ladies of Moto at the Ridge, Wormer Too Fast, pass me the Margarita. Welcome to the racetrack. This is Ernie Racing News. Bam! From the Canadian land, Marcel Ernie on the four. <laughs> Up top, returning champion number one, Kevin Pinkstaff. Hey everybody, wow, what a fantastic day I had today. The weather turned pretty good. I could finally try that, uh, you know, the X in our final race and the SC1 in the first race and I uh, had a great time and wow, dude, we were ripping. I'm, I'm still thinking about the last race, but the Formula Ultra race was crazy. Like right, Debrino and uh, Colstad, like they were standing it up in the corner. Like they were like, holy crap, this is carnage in front of me and nobody uh, put her down until of course Robarts later on. Thanks for uh, having uh, everyone come out, had a fantastic time, and uh, good to come out of my four year retirement after Bullshit 19. So thanks for uh, welcoming everybody. Pass it on here, big staff. Well, that was a good race for me. I, uh, I don't know if I can pull off the number one plate this year, but I at least want to end putting in a, in a good showing. And the Block Racing team puts a really good bike underneath me. Uh, Oliver and Brent keep me motivated and uh, went out and got the job done today. Felt really good. Got into the 44s for the first time ever. So, yeah. 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 Tires working really good for me. Thank you, uh, company, for your good work there. And uh, I'll be over and staff for putting on a great evening. Thank you. That's right, 44s. Holy crap. I didn't even think that was possible we did today. Crazy. Nice ride. Back with a novice is Opera 1000 third box. Well, Cliff Butler. Second box. What? Oh, it's going over. Second box, number one, Mr. Kevin Pixaf. And holy moly, 29, David Colstead up top. <laughs> Test. 
Fantastic. Hey guys, so this is my first time back racing, you know, since Pacific last weekend, but that doesn't count. I just want to say that my fastest lap last week here was a 48-4 in Super Bowl with Marks Too Fast. Then this Friday I won Super Bowl with a 47-0-0. Then today I did 44-7. So we're talking 2.4, 2.3 seconds faster than Super Bowl. Just keep advancing. So if I continue on that pattern, look out guys. But um, yeah, I had a blast. Uh, just, you know, thanks to those Pirelli tires worked awesome. I, I want to thank my one sponsor is Mark at Too Fast. Thank you for all the Super Bowls. They're a blast. I want to thank Tina for coming out and being my assistant to the assistant traveling secretary and <laughs> naturopath doctor. And uh, yeah, guys, fantastic. I had so much fun chasing you. We had a close last lap, but anyways. Yeah, yeah since got a little tired a couple times in that first lap. Good job to uh, Top Rack Holstead up here for uh, nice and light with that Shaquille. Uh, on the gas riding well, and I uh, was happy to uh, be able to pull off a second day with some attrition from others. Uh, big thanks, as always, to Zlock Racing. Uh, to Dunlop Tires, to Moto Vixens, uh, all my other sponsors, and, and my family, and to the young uh, and older staff for putting on a great race day. Well, uh, top rack might be a little far stressed. Don called me under rack, so. <laughs> I guess I have a little bit more to do. But big thanks to Don, Super Bike Underground, for putting an amazing 1000 underneath me and being able to save that. That's the second twice that's done, done it. Did it at Pacific last race. And, me and the driver almost had a make-out session. Really uh, tired, working amazing, CT. Uh, wouldn't be able to do this without them. Amazing. Uh, very, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's just uh, pretty cool, brand and everything. I don't know. But, uh, I think my brain just had a water shot. I'm, I'm, I'm all messed up because all I hear is Mark laughing. <laughs> but big thanks to everyone, uh, the crew, standing out here, and, and kind of a chilly morning. I'm just random now. I'm all done. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, David. Good run, good run. I don't know about that opening lap shit, but uh, okay. Hey, okay, hey, Hey, that's it for tonight, folks. Do me a personal favor. Do me. Two medals. Even you. Do, do me medals. a personal favor. Yeah, I want to see every now. single one of your happy, smiling faces back tomorrow From the Ultra, night. And what that means bronze, is you don't ride the Super Sport, second, the track after silver. Dark. Gold was yeah, there. <laughs> but I'll just buy some gold. <laughs> Debrino on the mini. <laughs> Good end of the day, buddy. <laughs> the day. Cheers. It's loud at the track. You're, uh, what are you doing? Second, so making you go faster. I'm trimming the frays of my suit. <laughs> and the saw bars stick it off or whatever, you know, so they don't like start to like make longer. You know, so. Like little tassels on the back? Yeah, little tassels. I'm kind of like just a zombie in the morning, so it's like something that doesn't take any thought, you just do. So we have the tire warmers on because yeah. you've decided to do what today? I signed up for the last race of the day, the open superbike, superbike, whatever you want to call it. And we have no new tires uh, because Sage didn't get his shipment in from Pirelli um, until after the weekend. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're just gonna run the same tires we did in the race. I mean the same front from you know Super Bowl Friday all yesterday Qualifying the two races and then we'll run the same front again for the Qualifying and then the race today at 340. We're gonna skip the Formula Ultra because we don't have a rear tire You need a, you need a new rear tire from Ultra like it's 12 laps, you know like and then so we'll run this after qualifying the X in the cold So it, really it's just a test day so I know like how the X's will perform because it feels like it's my tire in terms of my riding style. It just grips good with the no trash control and such an old whippity whip 2016 BMW. Aww, um, and then we'll run. Be nice to that. And then we have an X from Super Pole on Friday right here. You know it's half worn for sure, and we'll try to we'll try to outdo those eight laps, the eight lap race with that. 
that's it. And then uh, we'll see how it works in different colder conditions today. You know, so like, I don't even have to finish the race. Like if I don't like it, I'll just, you know, all right, pull off. You know, I got court in two days or whatever too with the Constable Conrad Herbs who sued me for libel and slander for my video footage filming him harassing me for three hours, attacking me, my charter rights and freedoms, 2B, 2C, 2D, my right to peaceful assembly, my right to association, my right to freedom of press. And he came at me and the evidence shows from the, even from the detailed security report from the security who called him saying that he's a, he's a protester with the freedom convoy and he was, what is it? He's, belligerent. He's belligerent and he likes to verbally attack the fire department, the police, and the bylaws. So it's just like, yeah. And he says I was causing disturbance throughout the day in relation to the Freedom Convoy, yet there's no evidence of that, because I, I wasn't. I was filming the Freedom Convoy, filming everybody's happy, most happy day of my life and all those thousands of people's lives. That we, the world, it was, there was change where everyone's gonna like, we can survive this. Tyranny, tyranny or totalitarian governments, anyways. So I have that in a couple days to go on the court. Okay. January 29th, 2022, the real revolution of the world for freedom. Fighting for some freedom of your kids. For a little old Kelowna. There you go, grab up and freedom! Welcome to the beginning of the end of the bullshit, guys! No more bullshit 19, right Steve? No more bullshit 19! Okay, so what can I do for you? You have your ID is what I've asked you for. I, I don't need to give you ID. Okay, then I'll be towing your car. So, I'll talk to you through the window. All right. I'm right here. Hold on. I'm back. Well. So what's going on? I've asked you to meet me on the sidewalk. I'm definitely I'm not, not going to have a conversation through the window. Well, I your will. It's cool. currently towable. So I suggest you get it moved and get your front plate attached oh. and visible immediately. Oh, Otherwise, okay. I'll be towing you under that authority under the Motor Vehicle Act oh. of British Columbia. Okay, so what's the problem? I just told you. No, no. I mean, what's the real problem here? I've just told you. No, why are you hassling me? I'm not hassling you, sir. I'm just having some food here. I'm, You're not I'm, permitted to be here. You're over over state. So you have a 10 minute yeah. timer. What's your name? My name. What's will your be badge number? To you when you provide me What's your, your name and badge sidewalk? number? My name's available to you out here. What's your name and badge number? Did you not hear what I just said to you? I said, I'm asking you the question. Okay, that's What's fine. your name and badge number, please? Okay, you you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out. Uh, so what is your name, sir? You're going to be on YouTube if you keep this that's up. That's fine. I like YouTube. All right, why don't I've you show more, me your face and be I've human? I've more fans than you do. If you cap here overnight, it's a bylaw offense. Okay, bylaw yeah, I know. So I know I'm allowed to be here, and I know I'm not allowed to cap here overnight, yeah, right? Yeah. I think so. so, like, is there something else going on here? Like, yeah. why is he harassing me? Why are you, officer? You better tell me your name. Why are you harassing me? And what is your name? I have a lawful authority to request identification. You have failed. No, you don't. You need probable cause to ask for identification. I'm not driving the vehicle. That's not true at all. Yeah. What is your name? Tell me your name. Why are you getting angry? Because you are causing a disturbance in I'm Kelowna. I am a lawful, humble person here in my RV. That's great. So when you post what is your name? YouTube, what is your name? A lawyer can give you. Can you tell me what this guy's name is, guys? I couldn't tell you. You don't. You don't know what this officer's name is. So you can have my name when you get out of the vehicle. Okay. Who is this? Officer, or if he wishes to tell you let's or start over. No, I, I am asking you for your ID. You have let's to tell me who you are. Can I confirm your full legal name with you, sir? What is your name? I'm ready to oh, provide it as soon as you provide your name because I asked first. What so is your name? At nine o'clock, you have, have to tell me your name. I'm gonna I'll provide it to you in writing on paper. No, I need Thank to you. see your badge number, sir. No show me your badge number. I don't have a badge to show you. Sorry, was this West Kelowna or Kelowna? This is Kelowna, right at Stewart Park, where the ice rink is. Yeah. And, I mean, he won't give me his name or badge, and he's demanding that I leave, and I'm just parked on the street, not doing anything wrong, and he's demanding that ID, and yet he won't give me his ID, and 
you know, at first I was wondering if he's a legit officer or impersonator, yeah. but there is yeah. a vehicle, I, he is now in a vehicle, he, he's just watching me, waiting for me to leave, and he yeah. had a bylaw come over and tell me that I have to leave at 9 o'clock because I'm in my vehicle, or in the truck yeah. camper, and yeah. he's staking me, waiting for me, and his, the number on the car is KL3228, and do you have his name, the KL3228 vehicle being held right now? Yeah, that's uh, a Constable Herbs, E-R-B. E-R-B-E-S. By the way, Officer Herbs, I know who you are now. That's fine. I saw that you spoke to the watch commander. Yeah, so we'll That's wait fine. for him. Yeah, I was going to give it to you on paper, but it's just as fine. So, Mr. Tow Truck Driver, I was just parked here for the rally and I'm being harassed because of that. Do you have a conscience about this? You cannot tow a vehicle with me in it. You know that. That is illegal. You are on film as well. I'm recording. I'm not actually towing you. Oh, okay. All I'm doing is hooking you up. And you did not ask my permission to be filmed. It's a public space I'm allowed to, but I'm doing it for my own protection because I'm being harassed by this Officer Herbs. That's your problem. I'm being harassed by this guy, and I'm still waiting for the watch commander, mister. I, I'm not sure if he's coming or not. What I can inform you, though, sir, is that based on everything here, we need to ensure that you're going to be safe and the tow is going to be safe and we don't want to render damage to your vehicle so what we need is the keys to the vehicle because it's a four wheel vehicle no you're not being you're not being do you hear this guy Matt? no dude you think i'm playing your game you are harassing me dude i don't appreciate this have you consumed alcohol no Okay. He's asking me if I've consumed alcohol so, now, Matt. So, Mr. Irni, yeah, at this no. moment, That's... we need to ensure that you're going to be safe. So, how? You know you what? Like you're not helping you? at all. You're an agitator. I'm an agitator. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 you're right. entitled to your opinion, sir. You were screaming at me earlier. No, you and, were and agitating me. Your video will make great evidence for my case. Yes, I'm sure it will. So you have a bylaw yeah. fraction no, offense on your vehicle. Give me a ticket then. Tell him to give me a ticket, dude. I'm waiting well, for. I am waiting for your field captain. I am waiting for What's the watch command. Captain? Your watch commander, okay? Okay. We were waiting for him. Okay. Because what you're doing is harassment, okay. and I do not appreciate you're it. You're entitled to your opinion. What I need you to do is get out of the vehicle so that the vehicle can be... Retired. You tried to get me out of here earlier. Give me a ticket and move on your way. I have your ticket here. All right, I'm shining the window on this ass. Hi there, this is Marcel calling back. I was talking to watch uh, um, 019 earlier. And I'm waiting for a watch commander to come down and, and uh, midi mitigate a situation here on Stewart Road. I'm being harassed by um, police and bylaw on Stewart Road, and it's um, um, it's really scary. So uh, I, I, I'm okay. waiting for the watch sure. commander, and nobody's calling me back. Okay, let me just see here where you are because I haven't spoken with you today. Um. um. I'm in, I'm in Kelowna. Are, oh, are you the watch commander? No, Marcel, I'm not. Okay? I'd like you to come to the window so we can have a talk. Okay, I feel threatened and this is really scary and I haven't done anything. Nope. I was minding my own business parking here and I'm being, at, I'm being hassled by this okay. officer, Herbs. Okay. okay, Marcel, come to the side window so we can have well, a talk. I'm, having, I'm, I'm waiting for your watch commander and I'm on the phone with your RCMP. Okay, I'm not the RCMP. No, I know, so I'm not talking to you. Um, hello? Hello, this is Marcel. Yes. Marcel, hi. It's Corporal Hall from the watch office here, Colon RCMP. Are you the watch commander, Corporal Hall? Uh, I am one of them, yes. Okay. I'm sergeant, so what can I do for you, sir? I need you to come down here and alleviate and mediate the situation with this officer, Herbs. My question is, why did you knock on my door at 7.51 p.m.? Uh, okay. What is your question in regards to that? I had a file. I'm attending a file. Why? You were spoken to repeatedly. By whom? By security. When? All of this is on video. When was I spoken to we're by security? We're not having the same conversation. No, five I'm asking times. you a question. You okay. just you just said I was spoken to by security. So you sir are exhausting a lot of resources. No, no, no. Just answer nothing? the question. Don't be like O'Toole. Answer the question. If you don't we'll call answer, me names. We'll answer his question. Be respectful. We'll answer his question. Be, answer his question. Be respectful. Answer What's his question? Yeah, go ahead. Why did you knock on my door at 7.51 and what security or bylaw did you say came and knocked on my door? Because I can tell you there was nobody before you and those two or two security 
were at the door. That was the first I've seen of anybody, and obviously I answered my door. So what bylaw, what are their names, who knocked on the door, and why? You, you've collected everyone's names here that's on shift today no, no, no. with respect oh. to this issue. Why did you not... I had a complaint. Okay, from whom? For the fourth time. I the fourth time when? What do you mean? Today. That I'm responding to... I'm allowed to. to park here and leave and come back and park here. Okay, great. What's, what's illegal about that? That's not what we're debating. So, okay, the it, story, I, I'm going to simplify it. I have a complaint. What's the complaint? a complaint? What's the complaint? You, it, it's available for you. What is the we're complaint? <laughs> what's the complaint? What's the, but we've already explained this. No, no, I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Were you discriminating against me? I don't understand. Yeah. How am I not welcome here? I am. I am. This I live in problem, Kelowna. Sir. You guys think this is pretty stupid too, I hope, right? This is... You know, hey guys over there, I'm a human, you know, this is not appropriate, you know, like, this is nuts, this herb guy. Hey, all it's I trivial. Wanted is somebody to tell you, you can't camp here overnight. Uh, yeah. That's all I wanted. Oh, so are you, because you're the bylaw, right, or security, I don't know. We're, but yeah. We're security for the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. Yeah, me neither. I don't like it either, dude. It's terrible. I know. But I mean, I'd you couldn't. more people with me assisting me you know, than not. Oh yeah, but I mean, we wouldn't have, I mean, yeah, we didn't need to argue. You could have just been like, hey buddy, you can't camp here. And I'm like, no, I know it's 750. Uh, he has, you, you have to make payment to the tow operator. I was waiting for the, you, the watch commander, and he called the tow truck. That's not, I waited for, and he kept telling me to get out. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything until we have another voice mediator here, which is your, uh, Dr. Hall. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce it right but in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. I don't That's know what fine. happened to you today, dude, okay. but I'm not your problem. As the registered owner, no matter where he Just back from the qualifier. Yeah, so, yeah, so the uh, X does not like the cold. You could just, both sides just destroyed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, destroyed. And it's, so it's not, not getting enough heat. Everyone's vaccinated, I'm assuming. I am. I am, sir. That's my medical autonomy. Okay. So, did you do the arrive count or not? No. All right. Is there a reason why you won't do it? Um, I don't believe that it's needed, not necessary. Okay. So, did you take a negative COVID test at all before you came back? No. All right. So, what's going to happen is I'll refer you to the health officer. They're going to phone you and talk to you on the phone. And then they're going to make a decision and talk to you about what to do with your status. I don't want to talk to the health officer, please. Uh, you have to. I would, I'd like to decline that. Sorry. And But are you vaccinated or no? Uh, that's none of your business. Okay. No, do you have the uh, antigen test or PCR test? No. No, okay. Yeah, you All know right. the PCR test so is what? useless too. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it is actually uh, required. And there are sections of state of the Quarantine Act. And if you don't have that, then you are required to quarantine for 14 days. Then uh, CDC will give you day one and day eight test kit. And also you will be subject to fine of $5,000 plus applicable sort charges. Yeah, no thank you. All right, have a good day. Will you give you, okay, will you give me your address where you're going to quarantine? No, that's not your business either. Okay. All right. All right, sir. So, okay. So, let me call CBSA. Then uh, you have the right for sure to enter as a Canadian. Okay? Oh, of course I do. Bye, right, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. My name is Marcel with Ernie Racing News. You might... Hello, hello. You might have remembered I had the truck camper parked across on January 29th, 2022 at the beginning of the Freedom Convoy when we had thousands of people here. It was literally the best day of my life at that time and the day, you know, we all had hope. All of a sudden, we all came out of the caves and it's like there are people paying attention. And so it was amazing. However, I was the last person to leave that day. There, you know, We ended at four or five o'clock and then at 7.30, I had uh, Constable Conrad Herbs knock on my door. And then it turned into a three hour detainment harassment. He violated my charter rights, you know, 2B, 2C, 2D. And, uh, you know, right for, to peaceful assembly, right to association, and my right to freedom of press. 
What's really interesting is he knew exactly who I was and my YouTube channel before he knocked on the door. And there's proof of it in the files. And I even have the detailed security report from the commissioners who is watching us across the street right now, which shows evidence of bias towards me because they, they label me a suspicious person taking a boat um, as a protester, a protester taking a boat at City Hall. And then they, this, the head of security calls the RCMP for me parked on the road. I interviewed a commissioner. They do not deal with parking whatsoever. If there was a car parked for three days, he's like, we might make it just a note of it to have it in our notes, but we wouldn't contact RCMP for parking. It's all political bias. And so I went to court with Herbs on December 14th. He gave me traffic tickets, all this crap. And then I did a charter application to move it to provincial court because judicial justice is like kangaroo court. They won't even hear a charter violation. They won't hear that the fact that you're not getting full particulars disclosure. And then the Crown uh, contacts me, an actual lawyer for the Crown, right? And they were trying to get disclosure from Herbs, but Herbs doesn't give them disclosure and the Crown stayed the proceedings. So there's my win number one, right? Had the ticket toss that he gave me. Obviously, I had to learn how to become a civilian lawyer, though. It was a lot of work, but, you know, it's good information to know. And then Herbs also served me in court another ticket. On December 14th, he asked me, how are you going to plea outside the courtroom like you wanted to, you know? And I said, not guilty. I'm ready for court. And he says, in that case, here's another ticket, and here's a cease and desist. He gave me a cease and desist for libel and slander for my YouTube videos of him harassing me for three hours, which many of you might have seen. Like, what a joke. And he serves me outside the courtroom. And then I go to the, the court was, you know, delayed in continuance. And then I go to the next court, March 29th, and he actually holds up the courtroom for 30 minutes as he's down at the registry. The, the worship, Burgess knows, the Crown Prosecutor, Constable Smith says, oh, he's down at registry getting more facts or information for this court case. The Burgess, uh, worship Burgess actually waits 30 minutes. We all wait in the courtroom for 30 minutes. This never happens. Herbs comes back and serves me a notice of claim He's, as a personal lawsuit for libel and slander harassment in the courtroom when I'm at the freaking podium. And so, and then that court, you know, he testified and said that he identified himself with his name and jurisdiction as he's legally obligated, obligated to. You know, he lied on the stand because I have proof of video evidence that he, and in the writings that he didn't identify. I asked him so many times. And so then I go to small claims court, provincial small claims court where he sued me. He sued me in the wrong court. The guy investigated <laughs> how to sue, not as well as the typical RCMP act. And they judged threw it out. This is the wrong court. You got to sue for libel and slander in Supreme Court. So that one was thrown out. There's win number two. And now I have court coming up on October 30th for the second traffic ticket he gave me, October 30th. So that's what I want to say. And But again, the security report labels me as a protester, a known protester, and says I was belligerent aggressive with city staff. Like, it's just absolute craziness. You know, and they're, they're getting information from where else, politically down the chain, just like they're trying to shut down these rallies. The same thing, guys. The non-stop attack. So... Anyways, guys, just wanted to give you an update. Anyone to show the courtroom, and uh, thanks for following along. The updates are on my Ernie Racing YouTube channel. So you can have my name when you get out of the vehicle. We can look at your plate and deal with this like adults. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Fuck me. Yeah. So you're giving me the middle finger on your YouTube video. Yeah, because you, you deserve it. You deserve it. I deserve it. Okay.